Hey, they worked hard to build that. Dear Tim and Moby, I'd like to know more about ants. Please tell me. Thanks, Kevin. Ants are pretty cool creatures, and the planet is covered in them. In fact, some scientists estimate that ants make up as much as 20% of the combined mass of all land animals. Ants are related to wasps and bees, but most ants don't fly. They're born with wings, but most lose them right after birth. Like other insects, ants don't have bones. They have an exoskeleton, a hard covering that protects them and helps them move. Their bodies are divided into three main parts. The head has two compound eyes, a set of jaws called mandibles, and jointed antenna. The antenna detect chemicals called pheromones given off by other ants. With pheromones, an ant can leave a trail to food or identify ants from its own colony. And when an ant dies, its body releases a pheromone that tells other ants to remove it from the nest. All six of an ant's legs are attached to its thorax. Finally, the abdomen holds the internal organs, and sometimes a stinger. Like a lot of insects, ants don't have hearts or lungs like ours. Instead, an ant breathes through tiny valves in its exoskeleton, and blood is pumped toward its head by a long, thin tube. But really, the coolest thing about ants is how their societies are organized. They live in big groups called colonies that can be made up of millions of individual ants. And the ants work together, with each one serving a specific function. Most ants are one of three kinds, workers, drones, and queens. Male ants are called drones, who have just one job, mating with the queen. They've got wings so they can fly after the queen, but they only live a few days, dying after they mate. Most female ants are workers, who can live for up to three years. These workers go through three stages as they grow up. At first, they take care of other ants in the colony, like the helpless young, called larvae. When they're a little older, workers begin to dig and tend to the physical nest. And finally, they head out to forage and to defend the colony. Some females grow up to be queens, who have just one job, laying eggs. Many nests have only one queen at a time, but some kinds of ants will have two or even more. Some queens can live up to 30 years, longer than a lot of mammals. There are close to 12,000 ant species in the world, and some species have really sophisticated behavior. Well, leafcutter ants grow a special fungus to eat, and they can even figure out which leaves make the fungus grow best. Amazon ants can't feed themselves. Instead, they enslave ants of other species. And some ants actually herd caterpillars, taking them out to feed and then bringing them back to the nest and collecting a sweet liquid the caterpillars produce. You still want to step on that nest?